Hello, this is Christian. In this uh, series, we are going to talk about classes, interfaces, and traits in PHP. So in this first episode, I'll be just talking about their uh, their uh, characteristics and their relationships. There won't be any coding in this uh, video. So here are the classes. The list I have here may be incomplete, but at least it have uh, has most of the important features in, in these components. So a class Classes can and cannot, you can see the list here, has a lot of cans, can have a constructor, and actually, actually it's the only one that can be used to instantiate objects, okay? You can have zero or more uh, data members and or functions, we call these functions methods. It can only extend a maximum of one class, whether that class is an abstract class or a concrete class, and we'll talk about that much later and it can implement as many interfaces as it wants. Okay, there's no limit to that. The same rules for traits. You can have as many traits, you can use as many as you want also. But a class cannot have abstract methods, right? So that makes sense later on when you talk about abstract classes. And it cannot have nested classes, um, with the exception of an anonymous class, which will maybe we'll talk about that in some someday. But um, usually you can have nested classes in PHP. So next, let's talk about traits. A traits can have a constructor, it can have data fields, have methods, can use many other traits. Now the traits behave very similarly to a class, okay? Except it cannot extend classes or implement any interfaces. It cannot have abstract methods, and it cannot be used to instantiate objects, okay? So and then here is the uh, interfaces. So interfaces are very broad. They can extend many other interfaces. They can have only function definitions. Okay, so that's important. And they can only be implemented by an abstract or concrete class. They cannot have a constructor. They cannot have data members. They cannot have abstract methods. And they cannot be used to create objects. And also they cannot extend classes or use traits. Okay. So let's take a look at, for example, I have a class called class A. Yeah, this class can be an abstract or concrete, it doesn't matter. And there's another class called class B, right? So we can extend uh, class B from class A. So we can say uh, class A is the child of class B in this case. Because the arrow is pointing to the parent class. So to do this, we call the word, we use the word extends. And then here are some interfaces. So we have about four of them. Interfaces can be by themselves, just like you see here. They don't have to be, um, uh, they don't have to extend other interfaces, but it can. So for example, interface A can extend both interfaces uh, B and, uh, and C. Okay, as you can see in the slide earlier, it can interface as, extend as many uh, interfaces as it wants. So it used the word extends also. And then now the relationships between classes and interfaces are like this. So a class can implement, okay, it must implement if you want to use it, an interface. Implements interfaces. You can have as many as you want. Okay, uh, that is the, um, uh, the rule for that. But a class can only extend one class. You can extend more than one class. That's it. Okay, and then we have the uh, traits. Traits, as you can see, there are four of them as well, kind of similar to interfaces. Traits can only uh, use other traits. It can extend interface, it can extend or use class, only use other uh, traits, just like interface can extend other interfaces. Or they don't have to use anything at all, right? And then their relationship between class and traits are similar to the interfaces. A class can use as many traits as it wants, in that class. So there you go. This is the relationships between these three components in PHP. And I, I'd like you to kind of, again, look at these diagrams and see where they fall and how they're related. So that when you write your code, um, you will understand much better. And later on when we do the actual coding. Okay, so um, I hope this kind of give you a, a, a very high overview of these three important components in PHP. And let me know if you have any questions.